Hey guys, I'm a Forrester here with another coffee review. Now this is going to be my third one and I feel like I'm caught in a rut because the first two coffees had very similar, similar flavor profiles and they got the same rating, rating of three out of five stars. So I have a sneaking suspicion that this coffee is going to be different. This is going to have a lot more personality to it. Now maybe one reason I think that is because of the name. This is called Mammy. And they say that the reason they called it Mammy is because nobody makes coffee for you with love like your Mammy. You don't believe me? Well, it's right here in print on the back. Let me give you a close-up and let you read it for yourself. It's right there. But these are coffees from coffee beans from Puerto Rico. I view them as single-source coffees, but they say that it's actually a blend of coffees grown at different altitudes, so it's more of a blend. I think it's going to be more of a single source. This came to me by a co-worker who volunteered to help out with relief efforts after the hurricane in Puerto Rico. He had been stationed in Puerto Rico and spoke the language, so he's a perfect fit to go down there and volunteer. That was a great uh, humanitarian effort, and I guess it's still going on. But he brought this coffee back, and I thought I'd do a review of it. Let me go brew up a pot. Now I'm making 24 ounces of coffee and there are no instructions on the bag on how to mix it. This is ground coffee. This isn't uh, a whole bean so I'm not going to have to grind it. But I'm going to go ahead and put six, just use my own judgment and put six tablespoons of coffee. That's three, four, five, six. That should be enough. All right, let's close it up and turn it on. Okay, this is the very first cup of Mammy that I've ever had. That's interesting. Let me let that cool off a little bit while I talk about my last review that I did on Coffee Cult. Uh, if you didn't watch it, you can go back in my playlist and um, see what I, how I graded it. But I ended up giving it a, a three out of five star rating. I toyed with a three and a half before I settled on a three. And uh, I drank it for the very first time on camera, sort of like what I'm doing with this one. But that's probably not the best thing because I've been drinking it for the past week since I did that review and I've actually made it a little bit stronger and I like it better at a little stronger uh, strength. And it has a different flavor profile with hints of chocolate in the uh, finish. And so probably three was too low a rating. I would say I'd go back with three and a half. Okay, but let's go back to this coffee, Mammy. And remember this is from Puerto Rico. It's a sole source coffee. I expect that it would have a um, more personality in the flavor profile. And it does. It's not as smooth as the coffees that I've reviewed. Coffee Cold and the Charleston um, Coffee Roasters um, blend that I reviewed first. This is not as smooth. It has a little bit of bite to it. You might say it's got a very clear taste. The taste lingers. It has a fairly long finish. It's not overpowering. You know, um, I like it okay. Let me refill my cup and um, I'll be right back. I want to have a second cup of it. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. Let me take another sip. It's hotter now. I had let it cool off a little bit too much. You know, I'm not sure if it's uh, the acid in it or, or what, but um, it leaves my mouth with a little bit of a um, puckered feeling. Okay, I told you that my grandmother taught me how to drink coffee and I shared one secret with you, how she would 
sprinkle salt in her coffee to give it more flavor, to bring out the flavor. She did one other thing that uh, she taught me how to drink it, and that was something I've never seen anybody else do. You can comment if, if you've done it. And I'll try not to make a mess here on my wife's tatting, but um, she would saucer cool her coffee. So when I was drinking coffee with her, I would copy her and I would saucer cool it. Okay, so I won't put much in and I'll try not to make a mess. But she would uh, pour the coffee. She'd have scalding hot coffee. She'd pour it in her saucer and then pick it up like this and then blow on it. Now this isn't that hot. And then she'd drink it out of the saucer. You know, just because of the exposure to um, air, maybe that brings out the uh, flavor somehow. I don't know, but that's how she always drank it. I haven't drunk it that way in probably 40 years. And I only drank it that way with her. But anyway, that's Mammy. It's pretty good. You'll have to pick some up and try it. I'll try to find a link for it on Amazon.com and put it in the description box below. Y'all take care.